is Heartland News at 10 on KFBS 12. Good evening and thank you for joining us here on Heartland News at 10. Crystal Britt has the night off. While many are stressing over what gifts to give their many loved ones this holiday season, some people out there are still worrying about making sure they have the bare essentials that they need to get by. That's why volunteers came together today to help laundry baskets full of love. Now the organization handed out 110 laundry baskets full of household and bathroom items to the elderly in Scott County. Meanwhile, a single car crash in Cape County sent four people to the hospital, two of them with serious injuries, while the driver was later arrested. Now the crash happened on County Road 651 around 2 o'clock in the morning. Troopers say that 23-year-old James Flesher of Cape lost control of his 2004 BMW with three other passengers inside. The car flipped, then hit a tree. Flesher and one of the other passengers had minor injuries, but two of the other passengers had serious injuries. Making national headlines today, officials in New York are now accused of ignoring several years of warnings which could have directly affected the cleanup of Superstorm Sandy. Three state reports since 2005 warned that a major storm could hit New York, while a 1978 law compelled the politicians to prepare for impact. Instead, a Democrat and Republican who wrote the report say that those warnings were routine, routinely ignored. One long-serving official said that disaster preparedness was usually among the first things to be cut by the state during difficult budget decisions. Thanks so much, Bob. Well, it certainly is a special day for thousands of college students here in the heartland, both with Southeast Missouri State University and Southern Illinois University, excuse me, handing out diplomas today. Now here's the scene at the Show Me Center in Cape. A total of 739 students received degrees today. 532 were undergraduate degrees, while 192 master's degree students and 15 specialist degrees. Six undergrads were recognized for earning a 4.0 grade point average. U.S. Senator Roy Blunt delivered this year's commencement address. And you may have seen some familiar faces out at the West Park Mall in Cape. We managed to fill two buckets today. That's two of the Salvation Army buckets totaling $614.54, while the second bucket had $352.11 for a grand total of $966.65. We definitely want to thank everyone's generosity for donating to the Salvation Army during the holiday season. And Bob, you were one of the ones that helped fill that bucket, ringing that bell, sir. Well, I'll tell you, people were very, very generous today. We appreciate all of it, and it's certainly going to a good cause to really meet some needs of a lot of people in the heartland. That's Definitely. really good news. Arnold Weirich is standing by with the senator. That's right, Jeff. It's been a very tense and exciting night out here with Senator Gary Forby, his friends and constituents. And joining me now is the 59th District State Senator for the state of Illinois, Senator Gary Forby, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody. It's been a great night. It's been a great night. Some of the things you're looking forward to, sir, as you go into this next term in the legislature and some of the things ahead here in Illinois for you. Well, you know, the understand that. Senator Forby, thank you for much for joining us. Congratulations, sir. Good luck in the days ahead. Appreciate and as you just heard, the 59th District Senator from the state of Illinois got his plan set out. He's got his road laid out ahead of him. And of course, we'll continue to be live from you here in Southern Illinois tonight as we continue bringing you election results here from West Frankfurt. Live local late breaking in West Frankfurt, Arnold Weirich, Heartland News. Arnold Weirich live in Carterville with the road report. Arnold, what kind of travel conditions are we seeing there? Well, good morning, Tyler. Good morning, everybody out here in the heartland. Of course, I've talked to several different sheriff's offices over here in southern Illinois. I also talked to the Williamson County engineer a short bit ago. He tells me they've got 15 crews out plowing the roads here in Williamson County, and they've got a lot of support crews out as well working with those 15 trucks. Now, let's take a look at some video that Mike shot for us a little bit earlier this morning as we went around here in Carterville getting some video of some of the roads. Of course, this is one of the main those down yet, but hope to, <laughs> hope to have them for you tomorrow at this time. Very good. I'm sure a lot of kids out there would love to see a little bit of white Christmas. Your kid's probably one of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Heartland News continues 24-7 online at kfbs12.com.